here. I look absolutely crazy. I'm giving you struggle bus, but that is the reality of my situation right now. Classes start tomorrow for me, and I am currently trying to enroll in two classes at a community college because I don't want to take them on my campus because they're extremely hard. But I am a junior at The Ohio State University. I am a business marketing major with double minors in entrepreneurship and innovation and professional writing. And this is how I like to prep for a successful That Girl semester full of taking up space and being intentional. But right now I am in my Google Calendar and if you guys are new here and you want to check out some of my other previous tips, make sure to check out my previous high prep for the semester video. But I first like to go into Google Calendar, of course, and I create all of these really fun calendars. Inside of the calendars, I'm able to put the time, the place, as well as the room that my classes are meeting. This is very, very helpful for students who are new on campuses now this video is going up a little bit later, for, but for those of you who don't already know how to do that, I'm gonna show you. Let's say you have a class that meets from two to 3.15, and that is your English 101. English 101, right? You're going to add a location, and we're just going to say that this is in Hale Hall. And then in your description, you can put room 308. When you go on your phone and you're walking around on campus, you're going to be able to see English 101 and you're going to see what hall it's in and what time and then also click on it and see what room. And that's the perfect way to make sure you're staying on time and you know exactly where you're supposed to be because there's no way in heck you're going to remember where five different classrooms are for your classes, especially when they're all in different halls. So that's my favorite thing to do. I first like to just put in all of my classes. As you guys can see, I've already started to load most of mine in here. What we're going to do is we're going to go on Google Calendar. We're going to go to settings and then you're going to go and add a calendar. Once you add your calendar, you're going to create a new calendar and you're going to name it what you're naming it. This is the next level of the type of settings. So what I like to do for event notifications is notification 30 minutes before. 30 minutes before so that I can know when my class is about to start. 15 minutes before and then five minutes before, just in case some way, somehow you need reminders that you have class coming up. All day events, because I like to put on my calendar my assignments as all day events, especially ones that are due at 11.59. I like to put a notification for 9 a.m., for 6 p.m. the day before, 9 a.m. the day of, and 12 p.m. in the afternoon the day of so that I keep being reminded that that assignment is going to be due and you can kind of customize that to how you want. There are a multitude of different ways that you can stay on track. You can use a physical planner, you can use a digital planner, or you can use Notion. I like to use a Google Calendar. I like to use Notion and I also like to use a planner. It's more specifically a to-do list. A to-do list is just so satisfying for me. I love to be able to cross off the things that I'm doing. So I personally like to use the That Girl to-do list. You guys can find it on my website, therickylee.com. It is just five bucks and it will keep you on track. And at the top it says things I get to do because when you have that shift in mindset of instead of the, oh my gosh these are all the things that i have to do and you start thinking of it as omg these are all the things that i get to do like i get to go to class i get to get an education i get to be involved i get to be a leader on campus like i get to do all these really cool things then it's so much easier to cross these things off of your list it is linked down in the description box for you guys to go get it but I want all of you to be successful, so I'm gonna be giving you a coupon code. If you use that girl, you can get a percentage off. Nothing else gets me excited throughout the day is being able to cross things off of my to-do list. Like, I get so excited. And there are just a few extensions that I like to use on Google Chrome to help me stay on track. The first one being the Tide Focus. It is so nice, guys. It is a timer and a white noise maker. So listen, they have like an ocean one, a rain one, and this is the rain one music to my ears honey and you can start it and it does a timer for about 25 minutes it's like pomodoro so you do 25 minutes of focus and then you do five minutes of rest so you can get on your phone you can watch some tiktoks for five minutes but 
sometimes I can get like six Pomodoros done in one sitting and it just kind of pushes you to have these sprints of being very, very productive. Then you have time to relax and then you get right back into it. The second one is on my actual laptop because I use that a lot to write, but it is called WordTune. When I tell you this thing is so cool. So basically what it does is it helps you become a better writer. So basically it's called word two so what you'll do is begin by writing and then you'll highlight over something if you're looking for a different way to say something and it'll like give you all these different suggestions to make it better so finding the best words i'll hover over that because there's so many times where i'm like writing something and there's something really at the tip of my tongue and i just can't figure out what to say and this word tune app has helped me so much especially during my internship because we can get very very specific and we're like fine-tuning things for clients and making sure things are very polished and language is the most powerful tool like your vocabulary is the most powerful thing that you can use in order to communicate with others and so you want to make sure that it's as sharp as possible so this tool is a 10 out of 10 like there's Grammarly and then there's WordTune and WordTune is my besties we we're in love if you don't already have grammarly downloaded on your computer what are you doing i think it's like 45 bucks a year i think that is such a steal so worth it because it's going to help you maintain clarity in your essays and the last thing i want to deal with is getting docked points because i wasn't clear because you know what i meant so but half of the time you know what you meant the other person doesn't know what you meant so you really have to make sure that you're taking the extra mile and just download Grammarly. Like Grammarly dang near can write your essay for you, okay? It will literally rewrite a whole sentence for you and clarify what you were trying to say, but you didn't quite get there. So make sure to download Grammarly, WordTune, and the Tide Focus timer apps as extensions so that you can have a that girl semester. I'm currently finishing out my work day. I started to cook myself some dinner. I had some leftover rice from what I made earlier this week. So I just made a little stir fry. You guys can check out my little recipe on my TikTok. I prepared some tuna for myself earlier so that I could have some lunch for the week because obviously I'm not on campus anymore. So I don't have a meal plan. So I have to prepare things for lunch and for dinner just because I live a very on the go lifestyle. It's great to have dinner and lunch prepared just so that I can start my day on my best foot. A company sent me some energy bars. So I'm gonna be relying on these in the morning. Most of the time, I don't like to eat too heavy of a breakfast in the morning, especially when I have a lot to do because sometimes it tends to make me nauseous. So I'm just gonna grab one of these. They're actually like super, super small. They're called Verb Energy. And I have the chocolate chip banana bread flavor. I actually really like it. I just Instacarted some groceries. I have some sandwich skinnies. I really like these. Because if you're an OG, then you know that I used to eat these a lot with the little tuna packets in my dorm. And they never steered me wrong. I got some club crackers so that I can eat these with my tuna. And I have some silicone Ziploc bags that are reusable that I can use. And then I also got this huge thing of chicken legs because I want to make chicken wings, baked chicken wings to be more specific. I can have some baked wings, veggies, and rice, and it'll all be prepared. So after work, we're gonna prepare those. I also got a couple more seasonings. I realized that when I moved into my apartment, I never got paprika, and paprika is nice. Just adds a great color to your food. Well, and then lemon pepper. I mean, of course we want lemon pepper on our wings. And then I just bought some more tuna because I have all the other ingredients for everything that I need. And then I got more eggs because I plan to make little egg bites. I went to Target and I grabbed a muffin tin, a silicone muffin tin, so that I can make little egg bites for myself to take on the go on the days that a little verb energy is not gonna be enough. I think in total I spent less than 30 bucks on all of these groceries and they're gonna last me days. Um, so yeah. Ahead of every semester, I like to set myself off on the right foot. I've been using Notion all summer long. I used it for my internship to keep track of everything that I was learning and all the things that I was doing. 
and it was super, super helpful. So I'm going to be using the same task and project management tool for the semester. I have been using it to manage all of my involvements. So my organization, the Black Advertising and Strategic Communications Association, uses it as a headquarters. I created us an entire platform and we have our team tasks on there. We're able to see each other's progress. We communicate through it. It's great. So for those of you who are not already on Notion, make sure to get on Notion. This video is not sponsored, although it definitely should be. Ahead of the start of any semester, I love to just make sure that my space is super clean and fresh and organized. I find that my space is often a reflection of my current state of mind. And so I just like to declutter it just so that I can go into the semester with a headspace that is very peaceful and ready to take on the day. I really just like to make sure all my clothes are put away, all of my dishes are clean. I'm telling you, these very small minuscule steps are really gonna set you up to have a successful semester. bright it is but I have finished cleaning up my space everything is packed up my bag is packed for tomorrow with all of my devices I have my little charging station here to charge my batteries for my camera and eventually I will set this up as like an oatmeal station with like chia seeds coconut flakes and slith um, slithered or like sliced almonds um, I like to eat those on top of my oats and so eventually once I get into the swing of things I'll probably start making overnight oats but I don't have enough containers for that just yet but everything is clean everything is in its place there are just a bunch of curtains over there I did not buy curtain rods so I don't have my curtains put up just yet so I'm just going to throw those inside of my little laundry area and then the last thing that I have to do it's just put away this big pile of clothes really don't feel like doing it but I came in and I cleaned up my bathroom this is all the stuff that like I need to get ready in the morning I guess the only thing that's left to do is pick out my outfit for tomorrow and I'm going to be on a panel um, and the panel is about being black at a PWI it's being hosted by the National Panhellenic Council and there is a dress code it is business casual so we're gonna try to figure out what we can wear. I have tons of blazers and stuff, but I don't wanna be like burning up hot. So let's take a look through the closet and see what our options are. I have quite a few dresses. I also have quite a few pantsuits, but there's gonna be like a BOSU meetup right, right after the panel. So I don't want it to be like so stuffy to the point where I'm like uncomfy. So I'm going to figure out what I want my outfit to be for tomorrow for my first day of classes and then I'll let you guys know. My friend is supposed to be coming over here just to chill and I have to update my mom's wedding programs because I agreed to work on those for her. Um, it's like my little wedding contribution. I'm making her wedding programs and it's going to be like a magazine. So we started to work on them. I did her engagement photos. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen that Instagram, the reel that I made. Um, like a recap of me taking their photos. It's such a beautiful moment. But this is actually my friend right here right now. Hello? You just gonna leave me outside? Where? Are you here? Yes, I texted you. Oh, you gotta um ring the thingy, but you at you at the back, so I'm gonna have to come down and get you. Okay. Alright, bye-bye. And he brought me a band-aid because I literally cut my toe on the edge of my um entertainment center i mean on the i cut my finger on the edge of my thing add the bacon in the bacon bits stir that up mm -hmm. and then you add cheese and stir it up and you're done and then you've got a husband ain't that right mama well that wouldn't work over here because aaron don't eat anything with sour cream <laughs> we're in here getting cooking lessons from Miss Mamas. I cleaned my kid, my, my chicken. 
and I seasoned it and now it's about to go in the oven. Mom, what do you want to tell the people? Do you have any tips for the people as they start the semester, Mother? Stay true to the game. <laughs> what does that mean? That means do what you need to do to pass your classes, but also remember to have yourself a great time because once you get grown, great times end. So basically, Big Lona said, you only Study live hard, once. Hard. Huh? Study hard, play hard. And twerk harder. Oh, well, I didn't say I would. <laughs> yep, study hard, play hard, because you only live once. Look, she gave me peeled potatoes. <laughs> Is it mashed no, or smashed? No, he ate it to the skin. That's what he did. And he's still doing it. You see it. You see it. <laughs> hey, what do I eat this with? Let me talk a to the Um, you can, the spoon. you can eat it with a spoon. I mean, <laughs> let, let me talk to the boy. You I mean, the baked potato. You can eat it with a spoon or a fork. Listen, I ain't never seen somebody mash potato or potato in the microwave. But this bitch is busting. It's a match. <laughs> I can't shit you not here. Yeah, yeah. Just know. I'm Auntie Rick. And if you guys ever are hungry and you are in the Columbus area, do not call me because I'm not feeding you. But just know you would eat good if we was friends. Grand Rising. But now I'm starting to think that I don't like it. So I'm doing a whole get ready with me on my TikTok. So if you guys aren't following me there, make sure to follow me there. And you can see me get ready for my first day. This fit that's like jeans, blazer, and a little white top. So we're going to see which one gives what it needs to give. And I'll let you guys know. So I'm on my way out to class. This is the fit of the day. I have on a white cropped tee i have on this blazer i have on some shorts and this little coach purse and my black and gold sandals and then for accessories y'all already know my movement watch because we want to move and <laughs> yeah I'm not late to class i'm just late to taking pictures with my friends we said we were going to meet each other at 10 45 and y'all it's like 10 48 so I need to get a move on it, but super excited. Today's gonna be a beautiful day. Happy first day of school. Happy first day of school. It's really exciting, but it's her first day, so. It's giving very much business casual. It's giving very much, yes, because I'm on a panel later. She's being I wanted fast, to wear her this sweatshirt <laughs> and uh, some, some gym <laughs> shoes, but you know, we're here at Ohio State again. Oh, I at should the, do this way. The, at the, at the. <laughs> and we're a part of the, the OSU, <laughs> and we're here. And we're loud and we're proud and we're gonna take not, our pictures today. Not loud and we're Look proud. Out, it's oh, picture it's, day. It's, it's, don't wait. Don't picture day be on the second day of school? It do. It do. Yeah. It's picture day. Yes. O H. What's your major? I O. Biology pre med. What's your major? Political science pre law. Whole lot of sexy black excellence. Why did he do this? He's not nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Can y'all come on? Let's get All right, well, well, come on, welcome. Well, get in. Yeah, look at me. This is really your hoodie. Look at all my children. I birthed all these kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dead. Thank you. Thank you. I love your sundress. You're welcome. Officially completed my first day. It's done because I'm still waitlisted for my class that starts at five o'clock today. The class was good. My professor is so nice. She's from um, Siberia, and 
which is really cool. I'm just super excited to be back at school on a regimented routine, doing my thing and whatnot. But I'm gonna head back to the Union just because the Union is the place to be. You can get tons of stuff done. There's tons of light and it's really good study areas. And it's also like the first couple of days of school. So I'm gonna be able to see a lot of people, obviously if I go over there. I have to finish updating my calendar because I did not last night. And I need to put like the rest of my classes on there, the hall, the room number, because I did not do that today and I was struggling to find my class. So don't do that. Because I would last night, I started watching this show called Echo. It's about these two twin sisters. It's so good. If I say any more, I'm going to spoil it. Very good show. 10 out of 10 recommend. You should watch it. It's pretty hot outside. It's normally really hot out in the beginning of the semester. I'm starving and I made tuna last night and I forgot it because I was trying to get to school because we were taking pictures together. Not only am I going to end up spending $17 on parking for the day because I'm going to be here until the late, late evening, I also... I also have to now buy food. I've decided that I want to go to Cielo Cafe instead because it's just quieter and it's less people. I don't know. I don't like being around that many people when I'm just trying to get stuff done. But I also don't like it to be extremely quiet and that's why you will never see me in the library. I like to have a little bit of white noise and coffee shops have the perfect amount of white noise. Once I got to Cielo Cafe, I got straight into my work. I like to wear blue light readers always when I'm sitting down for long periods of time. It just really helps with making sure that I don't get headaches because I'm constantly in front of a screen. These particular pair are linked in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. But once I got into the coffee shop, I just made sure to start transferring all of my class assignments into my Google Calendar. I know a lot of people like to use spreadsheets, but those don't particularly notify you when assignments are due. So I like to put all of my assignments as all day events, particularly the ones that are due at like 11.59, so that I am reminded that they are going to be due. I put like a little girl behind a computer screen for assignments that are discussion boards. I put a lightning bolt next to quizzes and tests. And it's really easy for me to just see what type of assignments are going to be due. And as you can see, I create a calendar for each of my courses and transfer over all of the assignment due dates. And anything that has a check mark is just a homework assignment. This gives me a good overview of the month so that I can plan all of my social activities and anything else around my assignments. And I'm fake scared. 1525. Are you kidding me? I was parked in here for three hours. Like, that is ridiculous. What'd you eat today? I'm trying to remember. I have tuna. Mac and cheese and fried chicken. Was it edible? <laughs> hmm? It was? What do you mean? Like, was it good? Oh, yeah, it was, it was good. It was solid. But overall, I would rate this outfit. Find a matching, find a matching pants and wear that. I don't have the matching pants. This was my mom's. I stole it from her. Um, right now, I when I was at Cielo Cafe, I just went in and added all of the assignments that are going to be due and um from the course calendars because in your syllabus they're going to detail like their grading policies their grading scale um, they're going to talk about more details about specific projects but sometimes most professors will separate the course calendar and that will have all the specific details of when assignments are due and then they will have the syllabus so you want to make sure you peruse both of those types of documents if they're separated and for most of my classes they have like a course schedule so i just looked at that and then i put all of that onto here so i'm going to show you guys my little key so as you guys can see these little check mark things that is for assignments that are like homework then we have assignments that are like quizzes. They have a little lightning bolt, so it looks like that. And then anything that is like a group 
projects or a project or a discussion board has this little emoji with a black girl behind a computer screen. So it's just an easy way for me to be able to decode and see what's happening. If you guys are confused, these black things are my map out of my period cycles. I found this to be very helpful when I'm looking at a month and I'm trying to plan out anything that's fun or important or anything that is happening because a lot of times I will have projects come up throughout the month and I would realize that, oh shoot, I have this big project due, but like my period is gonna be starting then. So you really wanna map out your productivity based on your period cycle because I know, for example, like I'm gonna be excited for the le for all of next week because I'm gonna be like right before I start ovulating. And then my period's gonna be around that time next month. So like I'm able to see when I'm going to be going through hell and I'm gonna plan that, okay, maybe I need to be studying or like perhaps really making sure that I'm on top of taking my medicine before then so that I make sure I'm in tip top shape before taking this quiz because taking a quiz on your period is literally hell. Unfortunately, in today's day and age, they don't make accommodations for us for our period. So like you're expected to still come to class, you're expected to still take quizzes, exams and whatnot. But like you're basically ill, you're basically sick for three days. At least I know I am. I'm really out of the game for like four days. So it's really nice for me to be able to see that now. I didn't used to do that, but now I do it. There was this whole TikTok video where this girl was saying she plans out her social activities based on her period cycle. And I think that's so important because there's times when I'm just very mellow and like I map it out. Like I'm mellow during this period. I'm excited during this period. I'm ovulating during this period. And I'm starting to come off of my period now and I'm already excited. So I know I'm gonna have that big burst of energy for the next week. And I'm gonna ride that wave with like creating content and making sure I'm scheduling meetings and stuff around that time, social outings, because after that, we're gonna be mellow and we're gonna be chill. And then we're gonna be going back into the flow of like me getting on my period and all this stuff. So that's like a very small thing, but it's very helpful. Another thing that I said I wanted to do was set up a document for each of my classes. So like over the summer, I took this sociology course and I have like this sociology 2367 um, document. And in here, I have all of my discussion board posts. So when it came down to creating my final paper, it was so easy to pull excerpts from my discussion board posts and like evidence from my, um, the readings from my discussion board posts because it was all in one place instead of me going from this notebook to that notebook in one note like that was just doing way too much i'm going to be using the google doc method and i'm just going to create like an outline and you can navigate the outline on like with this little button on the side so if you click this in google docs you can see the outline there's no outline in this document but i'm going to make sure that i do that and then when it comes down to like having a study guide i basically have one at the end of the semester because it's all in one big doc. And at this point in my college career, I'm not in courses that are like very heavy on like a specific topic or like course material. It's more like application because I'm getting into like business core classes and like specialization courses. And I'm really at towards the end of the very specific classes in my minor. So I'm taking like a corporate entrepreneurship class right now. Yes, we're gonna be learning like key terms and things like that. So. I should highlight those, but it's more so us going through case studies and reading them and coming with key findings for class. And I find that having one big doc for something like that would be more helpful rather than having a notebook. Whatever works for you, figure out what system is gonna be good for you for your classes. Each of your classes are gonna be different. Like for my business stats class, obviously I'm not going to be using a, a Google doc. I'm gonna be using my iPad a little bit more and using a notebook in like note plus um, that's my bread and butter and then if you guys haven't make sure to go cop a that girl to do list because that's what's keeping me on track I already wrote out my to do list for today of all the things that I need to do and I've been knocking them knocking them out you know so that's pretty much how I prepare for a that girl semester very simple very easy you guys can always refer to my preparation video from last semester because that one was a little bit more intense and I was in the dorm and things are a little bit different there now that I'm in an apartment things are a little bit more chill lax like everything that I need is here I went grocery shopping well I really didn't go grocery shopping I instacarted and that's a luxury um, but for those of you who still go to the grocery store go to the grocery store because y'all saw me in my last vlog 
I was in the grocery store. I love going to the grocery store. So, but to save time, it's really nice to be able to just Instacart. I'm going to take about an hour break and then I have to start getting ready for the panel. They want me to be there by 545, so I'm gonna leave here around 530, 520-ish and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Yeah. So I have switched into my new outfit for the panel. I just put on this bodysuit from Pretty Little Thing or Misguided. Everything that I own is pretty much Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, or Zara. I have one, this from earlier. We kept that, we kept all the accessories the same. I just put on some jeans from Zara and I still have on my same sandal. And we're still gonna rock the glasses because we have the BOSU meetup afterwards. This is the vibe, like this used to be my style in high school and then I came to college and it was all about convenience and you know, dressing for the environment. But now I wanna get back into my fashion bag and really start putting on things that make me feel good. And like, don't get me wrong, my sets make me feel good, but my sets are sets, you know? And I've, I've invested and I've built out that part of my wardrobe and I need to start getting back into this and building this out. And I was so blessed to be able to work with JCPenney and they helped me get a lot of things in my apartment, but a lot of things I had to purchase myself, you know? My couch, my chairs, like, <laughs> that was expensive. So, you girl had to prioritize her priorities and getting new clothes was just not one of them. And this is probably something that the girlies are gonna say later down the line, like, she be repeating clothes. You damn skippy I do, because here's the thing, I am not rich. Um, so let's start there. So you're gonna see me wear my things a couple of times, probably even three times. And you're going to mind your business. I'm getting to the point where I need to start building out like a capsule wardrobe for myself so that I can have everything that I need to be dressed to the T's without having to think about it. Because this outfit, all of these items, I previously owned. Like, you know, normally for the first day of school, you wear a whole bunch of new things. None of this is new, okay? This wig was like $100 on Amazon. This is a U-part wig. My nails were about $120. Um, and because I did not get French, I just got pink and French, they, they, they dial it up for everything that you did. And let's talk about how he was supposed to do French. I originally wanted French and then he started to do this pink and I was like on my computer so I couldn't see my toes and I pushed down the screen and I'm like, hold on, I told her French, I wanted French, but I was just like, you know what, you're saving money, so it was all right, but for the first time in literally years, my nails and my toes met. So I'm gonna put this on the charger because the panel starts in about 45 minutes, and then we're gonna head on out the door, and we're gonna be shopping. Today was astronomically long. I just got back in the house and it is 
9.59 p.m. I'm about to wind down, but I hope you guys enjoyed my first day of classes. I didn't really record much of like my classes or the panel just because I was in the moment. But if I have any clips of like anyone that anyone else recorded, I'll be sure to add it to the vlog. But yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I enjoy showing up for you guys and showing you a slice of my life and what it's like being a black woman on a PWI's campus. Crazy thing is I met literally, I kid you not, like 15 girls who have watched my channel and now are freshmen at Ohio State and they're telling me that they watch my vlogs, they absolutely love my videos. And there were actually a few other girls who have been going to my school but they said they just started watching my vlogs and they loved my New York City ones and they're obsessed with my channel. So I just want to say thank you all so much for supporting me and thank you all so much for allowing me to share my experience with you in such a very candid and vulnerable manner. And appreciating my perspective and allowing me to just be who I am like that is so amazing and I'm just so blessed and highly favored and a lot of the questions today were just about like how do you you know overcome imposter syndrome how do you show up how do you do this how do you do that and it's just like by being yourself like there was for a long time I wanted to be successful on YouTube. I wanted to do this, I wanted to do that, but I was constantly looking to others and their path to success and trying to emulate what they were doing so that I could, you know, get the same results. And it's just like you can't do that because every person is different. As much as people in my industry like to diagnose and prognose and figure out and you know, figure out the trends and spew them out to clients and whatnot. Humans, we tend to appreciate originality. And I can truly say that everything and every aspect of my channel as of lately has been very original, very authentic. And someone commented on one of my latest videos and said like, you are creating a new genre in YouTube content. And I'm just so excited and thrilled to see that like the fruits of my labor are really just working like it's a no-brainer when people come across my channel to subscribe because the proof is in the pudding i have tons of videos in my catalog um, and they're all consistent so they know that once they subscribe they're going to continuously get that and that is a testament to true hard work i put in the work and now i'm really starting to reap the benefits so stay encouraged i want you guys to have an amazing semester remember who you are bring all of you to the forefront do not shy away and hide any parts i had a mentor um i met this guy his name is anthony roberts he is an, a prolific writer and i met him this summer he did a workshop at my company at sylvain and it was such an amazing workshop so i reached out to him and i asked him to be my mentor and i was telling him that i'm interested in creating a very succinct personal statement for myself so when I'm pitching myself to brands or businesses and whatnot like I can truly and confidently state who I am and what I do and his advice to me was I should be scared I should be scared of my personal statement and I'm like what do you mean I should be scared and he's like it should scare you because it should be so real it should be so honest that it scares you and he was saying, like, for example, you could say, like, I'm such and such and such, blah, 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 and I'm inconsistent. And he says, to some people, inconsistency will be seen as a bad thing, but I'm inconsistent because I'm ever evolving, I'm ever changing, I'm, you know, constantly adapting to culture and whatnot. And that's something that is key in this industry. So you have to just be so comfortable and who you are that it scares not only you but it's a little off-putting to others but they have to take it for what it is right because I appreciate people who bring all of them to the forefront and it's just like wait a minute it's a bit for me to digest at first but once I'm acclimated I love it I love every bit of it because you are so comfortable with being who you are that it makes me feel comfortable with being who I am. And one thing I will say is a lot of people when they get around me, they're comfortable to be who they are because I'm gonna be me regardless. So you better be you. So I had a really great day for my first day. I'm really excited. I'm really starving. 
because I had tuna. That was the only thing that I ate today. But I'm just going to drink one of these. I love these drinks. They're the strawberry mango sparkling waters. So good. kickback like the um jumper cable sprite from mcdonald's it got that if you're addicted to sprite and you're trying to wean off and you want something a little bit healthier zero calories and it's got that sparkle to it get you some of these by the good and gather brand i love everything good and gather from target and it's super cheap it's cheaper than the cheap stuff so yeah get you some yeah make sure to like this video and to subscribe to my channel for more content like this of my day-to-day -day life as a black woman on a pwi's campus trying to take up space and i'll see you guys next time